So recently, I've been obsessed with this idea of becoming an outlier. What does it mean to be an outlier? When you look around, you see the masses, you see the average human being. The average human being is unfulfilled, depressed, upset, out of shape, lazy, can't focus for shit, addicted to pleasure and comfort. And so if you're a reasonable human being, of course you don't want to be like everybody else. And so it makes sense to just look at what everybody else is doing and say, do you know what? I'm gonna do the complete opposite. This is what it means to have the outlier mindset. An outlier is somebody who does things that other people are either too afraid, too ignorant, or too incompetent to do. An outlier is somebody who stands out from the crowd. An outlier is somebody who wants to be great and doesn't want to be lumped into the same category as the average person. So for example, with my YouTube channel, a lot of people refer to me as a self-improvement YouTuber. I'm just bunched in with a bunch of other random people who just sit down and talk to the camera about motivation, about discipline, about going to the gym. Now I had to sit back and think like, do I really want to be that guy? Do I really want somebody to look at my content and be like, do you know what? This is the same as everything else I've seen on YouTube. Of course, this isn't what I want. And so now I've adopted the outlier mindset and I'm gonna step away from average content. I really wanna start leveling up my content, focusing on creativity, bringing something new to the scene because really and truly, if you do the same things that everybody else is doing or has done before, without adding your own twist, without being unique, then you're not really gonna make it, right? I'm trying to create my own meta. I'm going to create my own meta, but I have to realize that this is a long-term plan. So I'm switching my mindset from short-term thinking, which everybody has. Everybody's addicted to instant gratification. Everybody wants results now. I'm gonna think this is a five to 10 year long-term plan where I'm building, I'm learning and I'm growing. And so let me just outline the outlier mindset quickly. There are three core principles. The first one is you have to learn a skill. The second is you have to train hard. And the third is you have to create, create something of value, create something that is aligned with your passion. And once you focus on learning, training and creating, this will turn you into an outlier because most people don't do these things. Most people stop learning when high school finishes. Most people stop training while well, they never train in their lives. And most people are consumers and they're not creators. So just by doing these three things, you'll become an outlier. And this is what I'm dedicating, well, the rest of my life towards doing. And in order to do this, it's gonna take a lot of focus, a lot of dedication, a lot of commitment, and a lot of pain and suffering. And I'm gonna document this on this series, which is the outlier's path. pain that I experienced this workout was next level, especially that 500 meter row, but this is what we live for, man. You can't become an outlier if you're just doing an easy workout. So every workout, you just need to find it within you to just keep pushing, push harder, break your PRs, do better than you did last time, even if it's by 1%, because this is what it's about, bro. Like you can see at the end of that 500 meters, I was super tired. I was completely finished. It probably doesn't even look that bad on camera, but it was kind of euphoric. It was painful, but euphoric at the same time. And I need to keep searching for this feeling. I need to embrace this pain because that's the only way I'm going to grow. That's the only way I'm going to reach my goal of becoming an outlier. So this is what it's about, man. It's about pain. It's about sacrifice. It's about pushing your limits, man. Most people just need clarity. Clarity means that you're clear on who you want to be, on where you are going, on what kind of life you want to build for yourself and the people around you. If you don't have clarity on this, if you don't have a clear vision, then you have no sense of direction. So a lot of people say, oh, I procrastinate. 
I don't know what to do with my life, I lack purpose. And a lot of the time, this is just because you have no clarity. How do you get clarity? By taking a break from the distractions, by spending some time with yourself. Journal, write, meditate, create something. The reason why I say outliers are creators is because a lot of the people we look up to are artists, whether they are athletes, whether they're musicians, whether they're entrepreneurs, whether they're painters, all of these people have spent years and years dedicating themselves to their passions, to their life's work, to their craft, iterating, experimenting, getting better, learning from failures. All of these people have put countless hours into becoming the best at what they do. And this art that they do is their way of expressing themselves. It's their way of feeling free. So I feel like every single human being should have something that they can dedicate their free time and energy towards, right? Because the problem is a lot of us have jobs that we don't like. A lot of us have problems in our lives that we don't want to face. So we distract ourselves by consuming other people's art. There's a reason why we watch movies. There's a reason why we listen to music. There's a reason why we binge YouTube videos because humans are naturally attracted to art. So we live vicariously through other people's creations. But outliers, outliers are creators. They are not consumers. So you need to find your passion. You need to find something worth waking up for. The reason why a lot of people are lazy, unmotivated, undisciplined, can't be productive is because they simply don't enjoy what they do. I can't wait for the day when I can wake up every day and just focus on making the best videos that I possibly can. These videos to me are art. They're my way of expressing myself. They're my way of letting out all of the frustration, all of the anger, all of the emotions, all of the thoughts that I have in my life. You need to find your own creative outlet. You need to find your own avenue that you can use as therapy. Whether that's running, whether that's singing, whatever it is you want to do. Outliers don't care about other people's opinions. So if you like collecting Lego toys, if you like playing with Pokemons, if you like Harry Potter, whatever your passion is, forget about other people's opinions because the likelihood is there's somebody else out there with the same interests as you. Somebody that will resonate with your message, with your art. And those are the people that you want to tap into. And once you find out what your passion is, you may already know it, but you're too scared to take action. You need to remember what I said earlier in the video, outliers are people who do things that most people are too afraid too incompetent or too ignorant to do. Don't be afraid to pursue what you want to pursue in your life. You don't want to be on your deathbed at 70, wishing that you spent your life creating something for yourself, something that you could be proud of, something that other people consume and appreciate. This is what outliers do. So you need to sit there and ask yourself, do you want to have the same destination, the same fate as the average human being? Or are you gonna step aside from the crowd forge your own path and create something beautiful. This is what I want to do with my videos. And from this point onwards, I just want to express myself in my videos because what happened before is I started to grow a little bit on YouTube and I became a slave to the algorithm. The algorithm likes when you post regularly. So I was posting every other day, but that detracts, it takes away from the quality of the art and the work that I want to create. If I can release something every day or every other day, that means I'm not really pouring all of my energy into it. I want to create videos that inspire people. I want to create videos that entertain people at the same time that make people think, okay, fuck, I need to create. I need to get better as a human being. And I can't do that if I'm half-hearting my videos. I can't do that if I'm just making content that I feel like is going to get views and clicks. I need to be authentic. I need to be true to my own art and what I want to create. So this is your wake up call to find your passion, to find what you want to do for the rest of your life and spend every free moment that you have, every ounce of energy that you can assign to it and just go after what you really want to go after. This is how you become an outlier. current diet is a low carb diet. I find that when I eat carbs, I'm just tired all the time. I get depressed. I can't focus. I get brain fog. Overall carbs just don't agree with my body. So I thrive better on a low carb diet. Right now I'm doing keto, but I switch in between keto and low carb. When I do low carb, I have more mental clarity and more mental clarity means more discipline. It means you make better decisions. It means you have more creativity. It means you have more focus. And overall, you can just be a more productive human being. So this is a typical meal that I would eat. We've got four lamb chops, we've got a whole avocado, got some broccoli and some cauliflower. 
very heavy on the fats uh, when you're not eating carbs you have to compensate with fats because you need to get energy from somewhere so keto low carb if you find that you're tired all of the time and you can't focus on your work then i would say try a low carb diet um, it's very important to experiment let me actually talk about experimentation one second i feel like life and self-improvement is a continuous journey of experimentation you need to try new things you need to figure out what works for you so in my life i've tried so many different diets i've tried keto carnivore atkins diet i've tried every single diet under the sun i've tried different training programs i've tried different sleep schedules i've tried different ways of living in general and only through this process have i found out what works best for me and so i found out that a low carb diet works best for me but i only found that out through applying the scientific process the scientific method is literally the process of testing out different hypotheses and seeing which one works best which one gives you the desired result so what is your goal what kind of person do you want to be you want to have mental clarity you want to be in good physical shape you want to you want to achieve peak performance as a human being and so you need to have a lifestyle you need to have habits you need to have an environment that is conducive to those goals and the only way you can figure out the most optimal way of living is by trying different things try to meditate try to read try to eat different foods try different sleep schedules try different training programs try loads of different things that is the only way you're going to find out what works best for you as an individual the problem with watching all of these youtube videos is that they give you prescriptions for problems that you have but they don't know you personally i can't give you advice through this youtube video unless i'm coaching you one-on-one -on -one because i don't have your backstory i don't know enough about you to give you the correct solution there are multiple solutions for one problem, but the only way you can find out which solution works best for you is through experimentation. So you need to try different things. This is how you become an outlier because outliers, outliers spend so much time obsessively, painstakingly analyzing and auditing their lives to find out which things are holding them back and what habits they can implement to make them into more optimal, better functioning human beings. So if you want to become an outlier, you need to start implementing the scientific method into your life and optimizing your environment, your habits, your behaviors, your thought patterns so you can become the person that you really want to be.